Hello, let's see how we can design the Kawaii Tsukite dissection of a cube using Fiorin 360. Essentially, we are going to take a cube and slice it into two pieces so that they can snap into each other like this. You can see these two pieces are exactly the same because of the symmetry of the cube. The cube is also known as a regular hexahedron. It's one of the uh, five platonic solids and it has some amazing properties. Of course, symmetry has been a constant theme in mathematics, all branches of mathematics, especially in group theory, for example, in nature, and perhaps in the whole universe. Symmetry is such a beautiful idea, whatever we are dealing with, including arts, of course. All right, so this project, and I would say it's an intermediate project for um, students in Q12 settings uh, or STEM teachers to really think about what it means to know and to teach mathematics or just have fun with design or design-based mathematical thinking. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to close this one and start a new project. To save time, I have defined some parameters. You don't have to use parameters, but if you do, they might save you some time later on. So I, for cube, I have designed the edge length to be 50 millimeters, and I wanted some tolerance for the wedges that connect these two pieces. So uh, initially, it's uh, 0.5 millimeters. I also wanted to um, you know, round the uh, wedges a little bit and so that they can snap each other easily. And I define a wedge fillet a radius, um, 0.8 millimeters. Um, if you really want to um, round up the cube, you can define uh, another parameter and edge, a cube edge fillet radius, 0.5 millimeters. These parameters can be changed later on when necessary. All right. So let's go ahead and sketch a uh, design a cube. And uh, you can go to create, use a box, and you can sketch a rectangle and use the uh, extruding feature. Let's go ahead and do a rectangle. Doesn't matter where you place this, and I'll just give it here. How about that? All right, that's a rectangle, and we're going to constrain it. So this should be uh, the edge length. That's 50. Okay, here's another edge length. Uh, 50 and next we're going to extrude this thing um, E for extruding and how far of course for a cube it should be the same thing edge length so that's easy and if you do not like this gray color at this moment you can change it to something else I, how about yellow and, uh, does that look like yellow sort of all right so now we have a cube it has um, of course, six faces and um, eight verses and 12 edges. Next, we are going to um, uh, slice the cube. Okay, so if you look, uh, look, use this vertex as a reference around it. We have one, two, and three vertices. We are going to uh, uh, cut this corner off the cube right? using a plane that connects this, uh, that connects these three vertices. So we're going to construct a plane. Uh, using three points, one, and two, and three. Now we have a plane, all right? That's what we need. See, and there's a, oh, the color is not good, and we can change that later on if you want to. So there's a tetrahedron, this this corner, um, where we're going to slice off, all right? So let's go ahead and change the, the color. How about the blue? I'm not sure if this works or not. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that works. Better. Looks better on the screen. All right. So let's do the splitting, uh, slicing, dissection, whatever term you want to use. But here we have split body. Uh, split which body? Uh, the cube using what? Using the plane. All right. See? We are chopping that corner off. Okay. 
Now, if you do not want to see the plane again, you can hide it. So this piece has been sliced off. Change the color if you want to. Now we can do it again. And drag it aside or hide it if, as you please. Uh, stay there and we might need you later on mm, or hide it. Go to here. That's body two. Oh, that's body one. All right. Next, we are going to uh, do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So we are playing with the symmetry here. We are going to construct again a plane using three points. One, two, three. Now we have a plane. We are going to slice that corner off. See, just the opposite side. All right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's go to uh, split body. Choose the uh, leftover piece of the cube and choose this new plane, the second plane, as the as the tool. All right, press OK. Now that piece is chopped off. We can give it another color, um, red, okay. if you like. So uh, we don't need that anymore. Oh, where is it? Oh, let's change the view. It's on the other side. Yes. All right. Um, move it aside there 100 millimeters to the left all right we'll leave it there if you do not want to see it just to hide it and then it's called body two all right now we have body three here all right uh, again blue does not show very well on the screen maybe uh we can change it to uh red I'm not sure red work better um, I'll go back to the original. Maybe there's a reason why it's grayish, right? All right, now we have a see um, equilateral triangle here. We're going to uh, sketch something on this plane, and then using uh, the sketches to uh, split this middle piece of the, the cube, and that's uh, how we're going to get our wedges. All right. And since we already have a plane constructed there, see, that's our first uh, splitting tool. We're going to use that as the, our sketching plane. Um, and then we're going to project the triangle onto this plane for further um, sketching. Uh, let's uh, click sketch, select that. And then I'm going to press P for projection. I'm going to project this, uh, the three edges um, of the triangle onto this plane. All right, we have it. Uh, next, I want to find the center of this um, triangle. This is equilateral triangle. It's uh, fairly easy to find. It's, you can just use the, you can use the angle bisectors. You can use the uh, uh, the midpoints of these edges. And so either way, all right. Let's uh, sketch some lines and turn on the construction constraint and make sure it's the midpoint there. Uh, we need another. That line, all right. So the intersection of these two um, uh, lines um, should be uh, the center. Uh, let's put a point there. Let's get a point there. All right. Good. So that's the center of the uh, the triangle. And through this center, we are going to sketch three lines that are parallel to each of these three uh, edges of the triangle for our next uh, steps. So let's go ahead and uh, sketch some lines. Uh, to make things easier, I'll just sketch this line like this. All right, one line, and I'm going to use constraint to explicitly um, place this center on this line. Make sure you guys stick together. Oh, I want this line to be. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Let's see what happened. Parallel to one of the lines. Does it work? No. Mm, too much constraint there. Let's go back. Does it hurt? So I'm going to uh, use the parallel constraint first. Mm, this line should be parallel to this one. That works. And then I want this line to go through the center. Oh, okay. Coincident. Mm. Ah, again, see, it's too much constraint. Maybe I should change. Um, 
the way I sketch that. How about that? Sketch from here to here. All right. This line should be parallel to that and should be uh, going through this point. It works. All right. And of course, you can just draw a line and allow the system to uh, provide automatic constraint if it works. From here to here, go through the line uh, like that. Um, all right, that's good. Here and here. And make sure it's parallel to this edge of the triangle. We need a third one. Um, so we have one there, one there, we need another one. Goes like this. All right. So it should go through the center point. All right, and it should be parallel to the to the edge of the triangle. I think we are ready. And uh, all right, stop sketching. Now we have three solid lines there. We are going to use the three solid lines to uh, split this uh, the solid. It's really the middle piece of the cube into uh, several pieces. Let's go ahead. Go to modify. I want to use 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 loft at one time, and but it turns out we need a straight edge inside. So um, lofting does not quite work for this project, but you can play with it if you like. Um, we're going to choose the body the, and then choose this. Splitting tool and one of these lines we're going to use all the three of them. So let's start with the uh, good clock, counterclockwise. This one, all right? That's it. now we have two pieces there. Okay, now you can color it if you want to. Uh, we're going to just do the same thing split body. Remember, we have two pieces and we're going to sele select both of them and we're going to choose the uh, oh, where is it? It should be here. We're going to use this second line as the uh, splitting tool. Now we should have four pieces. Okay. Um, need to do it again. Repeat split body. And now we have one, two, three, four pieces. And actually, you don't have to select all the four of them because you see this, this, um, Third line does not go through the other pieces, but it doesn't hurt. You can try it. All right. Um, see, it goes through only the uh, top and the lower piece. All right. Now we should have six pieces um, within this uh, solid. And if now let's turn off the sketches. We don't need it anymore. Um, hmm. Now it's time to. Uh, Color them if you want to. <laughs> All right, let's uh, just for the fun of it. Put this one red. And put this one red. This one blue, green. Green. And how about oh, I want this one to be green. This one to be red. This one to be red. Because of symmetry. These pieces are the same, right? So this alone is really um, just hard. I like it. All right. So since we are creating one half of the uh, cube, we don't need all of these. We are going to. Uh, you can hide them, or you can just uh, delete them or drag them away. Uh, that's six. Let's hide. Yeah. Let's hide. You want to hide the red pieces or green pieces? It really does not matter. Hide the green pieces. One. That's five. And that's eight. All right. So that's that's exactly what we need, and we just need to bring the other piece back. So remember that corner, and bring it back. And I think it's called a body two. Uh, yeah, it turns turns out to be red too. So move this piece. Back to place. All right, 100 millimeters. That's exactly how we dragged it to the left a moment ago. So 
yeah, this is essentially what we have, what we need for this project. And what remains is just uh, some um, polishes, if you, so to speak. So let's give the color there so we know there are two pieces there. Um, next, I wanted to kind of ask me tolerance, push these uh, faces inside a little bit. I do it one by one, I'll do it all of them. Let's try. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, where's the other piece? Six. Are the six pieces? Yeah. I think we'll do a Q. Oh, I've lost some of the pieces, right? I lost all, all of those. Oh, doesn't matter, just choose them again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, there are six faces there, right? There's the wedges. Because uh, if we do not al allow any tolerance here, it'll be hard for them to come together. And add a tolerance. Um, how about a negative uh, tolerance? All right. And you can always uh, come back, go back and adjust the value of the perimeter uh, under the name tolerance. Does that make sense? All right. And if you like, you can always fill it at these edges. And for a smooth connection, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because these edges are going to uh, um, to be aligned with the other piece, which is exactly the same as this piece, right? So we'll do the fillet, which wedge fillet, I guess. Okay. Uh, Next, if you want to, you can round up the uh, edges of the uh, cube. One, two, we have only three here. And fillet, edge, fillet for the cube. And it makes it easier to handle and also easier to um, take off the uh, um, printing bed. I, I found these uh, rounded edges of much easier to remove from the bed. All right, next so we can just uh, combine them into one piece. All right, go to combine one, two, three. Okay, that's what we need. We need, we need a two pieces of this to make a, a cube. Isn't it a, not a neat project? I like it, and uh, students can learn a lot about some basic um, math ideas in a 3D design space, and also in enjoy the process of thinking. Right, so I like another color, green, go green. Right. So it turns out this piece uh, does not need any uh, support because the uh, the angles, so within um, the piece. Um, it's really easy to print and 5% infill is fine and 10% infill is also fine. It's a fun project. All right, I'll stop here. Um, thank you for watching.